Hey YouTube, ShadowH511 here. I uh, have decided to re-record my commentary for the battle I had for Best of 5000. Uh, yeah, I was half asleep and I shouldn't have recorded commentary that late. <laughs> so, let's consider that the uh, beta version. Let's consider this final prop 26. So, I'm fighting against a monkey team, I'm told. Okay. I guess it's to commemorate Planet of the Age or something. So he sends out Raw Tom in a repeat ball, which is always cool. And out comes the Indie Bomb. So now is the first switch into Gliscor. Oh, Gliscor to take that physical hit. Yes. And get that Toxic Orb up. And the uh, Indie Bomb goes out. And in comes the. Uh, oh, I don't know the name of that guy. Uh, Water Monkey. See no evil monkey. Okay, so and then in comes uh, Vigoroth. I haven't seen one of those competitively with the Evolia. It should be pretty good. And it doesn't do much. There's a special defense boost there. Wow, that guy's a monster. So in comes Deoxys. Okay, Deoxys, and goes for the superpower stab, super effective, all that good, happy, crazy stuff. And speed drop, but no, it's attack and defense. Wow, I'm getting hammered and confused with the superpower. So he bulks up, which is really futile at this point because, you know, he's gonna walk in and destroy everything. And he switches to special attacks. Not wanting to take that chance after that attack drop and defense raise, I guess. So the monkeys come out. And. Switches into Bronzong. And Bronzong just hits that hit like a monster. I mean, seriously, you couldn't have taken that hit better. And it uses Last Resort. Must be a two move deal. Uh, earthquake. Ooh, that doesn't do much. Ambipom can be physically defensive. Oh, I didn't know that. So in comes Primeape, while uh, Max gets his rocks up, and the leftovers recovery goes again, and close combat, neutral effective, Ooh. oh that did more damage than I thought it did, but he gets the drops, which help when uh, Bronzon comes in and does Gyro Ball I guess, oh my goodness, wow. That was almost a complete annihilation. So, Gliscor would be strong against this, so why not let Gliscor have some fun? I'm surprised he didn't use Fling on any of these guys. I mean, getting rid of that Toxic Orb would really help. And he, I guess he's checking for a ban, but that guy's not banded. I guess if that guy's banded, then I think Bronzong would have been taken out. So his primate switches out with a U-turn. And in comes the Water Monkey, that I don't remember the name of. And it gets earthquaked, which probably won't do much. Oh, it does more. I bet you can tell that I was really tired last night, because I don't remember what I said in the commentary. Yay! So that guy surfs, and it doesn't do anything because he's protected. And there's Poison Heal. And he switches into Ambipom. Um, okay. I did not expect that. And Rotom comes in. Now this is probably the first fake out of the game that actually flinches. Yeah, that's cool. So, Volt Switch. You bang. And Monkeys goes and almost dies. Oh, it has like 2 HP left or something. So in comes Gliscor again. And it takes a last resort. And it really can't take two of those. I mean, look at that. That just did an amazing amount of damage. And uh, I think with that Protect is trying to either heal or PP stall or both. So... That really hurts Gliscor, and he's down to 2 HP. 
Oh darn. And that earthquake just it just gets rid of that envy palm. That envy palm must have been a nightmare to fight. Okay, so out comes the monkey. And protect. Probably to scout for surf or to Oh nasty plot on the known protect. Oh there's a there's a clever thing to do. Oh okay. Surf. Bye Gliscor. You're you're done. Oh, useless crit is useless, and Gliscor is gone. And the monkey lost its HP. Oh, it's a life orb variant. So, not wanting to mess around, he sends in his rot on and bolt switches. Super effective, and it really doesn't matter at this point, because pretty much touching it would kill it. Rotom, use touch. It's super effective. Insert name of Pokemon here, fainted. And the Inferno comes out. Infernate. I'm wondering why this Deoxys doesn't have Psychic. That would have made. That would have been really useful. Okay. Oh, it's a Life Orb speed Deoxys. I probably already noticed that, but I forgot. So I notice again. And it gets a crit, which probably mattered. And Deoxys is gone. So Rotom comes out again. Just dancing around with its happy. Happy watching machine cell. And it uses vacuum wave. I thought that would I thought that would get a kill. It didn't. Bolt switch and it's gone. And oh is next to Oh Next is the Medicham. Why does Medicham get high jump kick? Why does Medicham get high jump kick? It already has a ludicrous attack stat, why not just raise it further? <laughs> so he sends in his uh, Zapdos. And he switches. Probably expecting a flying type attack. So he gets dis he uses discharge and is able to kill that guy. Hmm. And now here's another evil move that Metajam can learn. Trick. Why does Metajam get Trick and High Jump Kick? So he basically locks the Zapdos into Discharge, which is actually okay, because that's still going to be at least a 2 HKO. Oh, and it paralyzed him too, so it's a guaranteed 2 HKO. Unless he switches, but he doesn't have any guys left if I, if I did my math correctly. Oh yeah, it's game at this point. So yeah, thank you for watching this uh, redo. Uh, thank you for, thank you to Besto5000 for allowing me to guest narrate for him. And uh, you can check out my channel. The link will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, have fun on uh, Max's guest narration week. So. I will see you guys, hopefully on my channel, because I need some subs and views, and so does he. We can get subs and views together, one for all, all for one, and all that fun stuff. Well, see ya.